Jedi before you. This planet is a graveyard for your kind. She thinks you should be spared, but only so you might suffer. You will break, and when you do, you will die. Why she would bother with one such as you is something I will never understand. She awaits on the Treus core in the heart of this planet, but you will never reach her. It is ancient, a relic that survived the destruction of Malachor. It was always here, far before the Mandalorian Wars. It draws death and hate to it, channels it, atrocities feed its power, and with its power, it creates hunger. Many Jedi have been consumed by it. It has been here for thousands of years. It is a place where the Sith teachings run strong. It is the threshold of the borders of an ancient empire. Kreia says it was a place of reflection for the ancient Sith. A gateway to their lands. It drew Lord Revan, and it calls to her as well. She said that the teachings here will lead one to the Sith, the true Sith, and all their shadowed worlds. This place led Revan to the graveyards of Korriban and beyond. It does not matter. The Lord Revan had the galaxy at his feet, could have made it strong, and he surrendered it to weakness. Like you, Revan touched power and turned away. The chance to heal this fractured galaxy, and he turned away. I was there when the Academy on Korriban fell, and the Sith turned on one another, like beasts. Our chance at an empire! Destroyed by Revan. Then it shall be proof that you are not the one she seeks, and she shall accept my loyalty again. You are wrong. I have come farther than any of her apprentices since Revan. Even you and I am stronger for it. You seek to erode my will. You will not succeed. I am ready for you, Exile. I have waited years to see the last of the Jedi fall before me. Only one may serve my master.
choice. She would not willingly return to being the helpless woman she once was, nor would she wish that of her apprentice. You are the one who will fall, die, Jedi.
last you have arrived is Malakor as you remember. You no doubt have many questions. I would be a poor teacher if I did not give you the answers you seek here now. It is said that the Force has a will. It has a destiny for us all. I wield it, but it uses us all, and that is abhorrent to me, because I hate the Force. I hate that it seems to have a will, that it would control us to achieve some measure of balance when countless lives are lost. But in you, I see the potential to see the Force die, to turn away from its will, and that is what pleases me. You are beautiful to me, Exile. A dead spot in the Force, an emptiness in which its will might be denied. I use it as I would use a poison, and in the hopes of understanding it, I will learn the way to kill it. But perhaps these are the excuses of an old woman who has grown to rely on a thing she despises. I never destroyed Atris. She had destroyed herself. I merely stripped away the illusion and brought her truth. Her teachings could not be allowed to continue. And like Malachor, she was part of your past, unresolved. She needed to be something you could confront and defeat one last time. It was part of your training. Part of what was needed to make you complete. And there must always be a Darth Traer. The galaxy needs its betrayers, especially in the times to come. She loved you, you know, as one loves a champion. You were all that she could not be. Yes, it is all that is left unsaid upon which tragedies are built. More echoes traveling through the Force. It is said that the Force has a will. It has a destiny for us all. I wield it, but it uses us all, and that is abhorrent to me, because I hate the Force. I hate that it seems to have a will, that it would control us to achieve some measure of balance when countless lives are lost. But in you, I see the potential to see the Force die, to turn away from its will, and that is what pleases me. You are beautiful to me, Exile. A dead spot in the Force, an emptiness in which its will might be denied. Yes, always, from the moment you awoke, I have used you. I have used you so that you might become strong, stronger than I, and I used you to make those who wounded me reveal themselves so they could be killed by the Republic. I used you to keep the Lords of the Sith from condemning the galaxy to death with their power unchecked. I used you to lure them to Telos, where they could be at last fought and killed. I used you to reveal Atris's corruption so that her teaching could be ended before it began. I used you to gather the Jedi so they could be destroyed, and I used you to make those who wounded me reveal themselves so they could be killed by the Republic. Perhaps you were expecting some surprise for me to reveal a secret that had eluded you, something that would change your perspective of events, shatter you to your core. There is no great revelation, no great secret. There is only you. I have thought of this moment more than you know, and I wondered if here, at this ending between us, if you would care enough to try to save me, if a Jedi could find it within themselves to spare one who has fallen so far. I wanted you to say those words. For that I am grateful. But I do not want your mercy. I want you to break. Thank <laughs> you.
If you do not kill me, I shall end you. Strike me down. End this. You will not show me mercy. I will see you break before you do. Possibly no. Save me. You already have. It is enough what you have done. From now into the future. Many things do I see as I gaze here from the heart of Malachor. This place channels such energies. If it matters to you at this last moment, I shall look into the future and tell you of what I see. It is my last gift to you, from one exile to another. You travel with them for so long, yet you do not know them still. Feel them through the Force, feel what they feel, hear their thoughts and know them, as I fought to know you. They were the lost Jedi, you know the true Jedi, upon which the future will be built. They simply needed a leader and a teacher. She will stop hunting life and instead live it. She was not born to be a predator, despite her true father and the life she led within the shadow of Narshadar. She will miss you and think of you often. You, who awakened her to what life is. She will live, but only for a time. Her death will occur in many years' time on a forgotten planet, saving the lives of others. But it will be her choice, and she will have no regrets. Many battles does that one have left in him, as Revan intended. A general needs an army as he needs those he trusts. And Candorus is a loyal beast, no matter how much he is broken upon Revan's will. But you know this. They will die a death that will last millennia, until all that remains is their code, their history, and in the end, the shell of their armor upon the shell of a man too easily slain by Jedi. The blinded one shall return to her home world, and as she looked upon you, she shall look upon the surface of that world, and perhaps at last see what she was meant to see. After that, I do not know. I do know that you must leave her behind 
Where you are destined, you must not take anyone you love. It was Revan's choice as well. If she leaves this place, she will leave battle behind her, in no small part due to your influence. She will take Atrus's role as historian and teach others of the Jedi exile who gave up the Force and became stronger for it. Atten is, as always, the fool. And the Force watches out for one such as him, I feel as it does for the old, such as I. The Republic will fall, as it always has, a fall that will take millennia under the care of the herds of Ithor. The surface of Telos will bloom again, and its golden fields shall again harbor scientists and thinkers. And complacent and peaceful, it shall forget the time that Saul Karath orbited it and brought fire to its skies. But it shall be a home world again to others who will stretch out across the galaxy and bring life. Dantooine shall survive. The community you saved shall be the foundation upon which Dantooine shall be habitable again. They shall drive back the raiders, the Mandalorians, and all that strike at the Outer Rim. The Republic shall again establish their presence there and shield it with its forces. And Dantooine shall heal, be safe, and its skies free. The ruins of the Academy shall remain. Na Shaddaa shall persist as it always has, but there will be a heart to the world where there was nothing before where once the lost and disposed were trapped there. Now they will struggle and grow. From despair shall come hope. Queen Talia shall have a long reign. Much good will come of it. She will, as she has, rule wisely and well. Onderon shall remain in the Republic, and the world shall prosper though its people shall, over time, lose their customs in the ocean of the Republic and become the people of Onderon no longer. Korriban shall be as it always was, a graveyard for the darkest of the Sith Lords still whispering within their tombs. It shall always be a source of evil, spawning threats throughout the millennia. It, like Malachor, brushes the edges of the Empire that waits in the dark. And like Malachor, the Sith have forgotten it. For a time, they will remember. Revan knew this. You travel with them for so long, yet you do not know them still. Feel them through the Force, feel what they feel, hear their thoughts and know them, as I fought to know you. They were the lost Jedi, you know. The true Jedi, upon which the future will be built. They simply needed a leader and a teacher. She will stop hunting life and instead live it. She was not born to be a predator, despite her true father and the life she led within the shadow of Narshadal. She will miss you and think of you often, you who awakened her to what life is. She will live, but only for a time. Her death will occur in many years' time on a forgotten planet, saving the lives of others. But it will be her choice, and she will have no regrets. Many battles does that one have left in him, as Revan intended. A general needs an army as he needs those he trusts. And Candorus is a loyal beast, no matter how much he is broken upon Revan's will. But you know this. They will die a death that will last millennia until all that remains is their code, their history, and in the end, the shell of their armor upon the shell of a man too easily slain by Jedi. The blinded one shall return to her home world, and as she looked upon you, she shall look upon the surface of that world and perhaps at last see what she was meant to see. After that, I do not know. I do know that you must leave her behind. Where you are destined, you must not take anyone you love. It was Revan's choice as well. 
If she leaves this place, she will leave battle behind her, in no small part due to your influence. She will take Atrus's role as historian and teach others of the Jedi exile who gave up the Force and became stronger for it. Atten is, as always, the fool. And the Force watches out for one such as him, I feel, as it does for the old such as I. I would have killed the galaxy to preserve you. I would have let the galaxy die. You are more rare than you know, and what you have taught yourself must not be allowed to die. You are not a Jedi, not truly, and it is for that that I love you. Their paths are unknown to me. Even the small one who waits for you outside this place... I sense it has one last journey for you. You must go where Revan did, into the unknown regions, where the Sith, the true Sith, wait in the dark for the great war that comes. It is because he remembered what lay buried here, this place, its teachings. It paved the way to Korriban, you know, the remnants here. And because Malachor, like Korriban, is on the fringes of the ancient Sith Empire, where the Sith wait for us in the dark. Have we? You thought that the corrupted remnants of the Republic, the machine spawned by technology that Revan led into battle, were the Sith? You are wrong. The Sith is a belief, and its empire, the true Sith Empire, rules elsewhere. And Revan knew that the true war is not against the Republic. It waits for us beyond the Outer Rim, and he has gone to fight it in his own way. And he left the Ebon Hawk and all its machines behind, for he knew he would not need them. And like you, he knew he must leave all loves behind as well, no matter how deeply one cares for them. Because such attachments are not the way of the Jedi, and they would only bring doom to them both in the dark places where he now walks. It would have helped had he made her understand, but she was always strong-willed, that one, and did not understand war as Revan did. Because I did not know where he had gone, if he had asked, would I have gone? I do not know. But he will need warriors, Sith and Jedi, any who can be sent after him into the depths of space, for any who know the way. Perhaps you shall go there with him and do battle at the end of all things. Instead, I remained here, and now show others the way. Ah! Ah! 